Welcome back to the show with Dave Nemo, Jimmy Mack, and Lindsay Lawler. Broadcasting from Matt's, the Mid-American Truck Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Hey, we are back, uh, by the way, playing musical chairs here on the scene. Uh, Lindsay Lawler, um, I love you. It's good to see you. Bye. Um, no, she's actually, she's well, our new Where's Waldo, Where's Lindsay out there. Uh, Dave Nemo uh, has actually come back on the stage, and I think he's going to take care of this introduction here. I think I'm going to put him absolutely on the spot and make him do some talking. So go ahead, Dave. You know, trucking is a lifestyle. It's not a job. It's not a profession. It's not a career. It's all of that, but under the big umbrella of lifestyle. So we try to cover all of the lifestyle issues that we can find beyond rules and regulations and tire pressure and oil viscosity. And uh, health and wellness is exceedingly important. And we started prog uh, programming health and wellness about 30 years ago when uh, you tried to get somebody to walk around a truck 30 times to get a mile in, and the few that did it were pretty much put in, uh, they were put away. They were picked up and put away. So they were crazy. These guys are crazy out there. And now it's kind of hard to find somebody who's not interested in health I, and welfare. And this young lady right here, Hope Svara, Mother Trucker Yoga, is one of the people that keeps that ball rolling. Good morning. Good morning. I get not only Jimmy Mack, but I get Dave today, too. This is like the cherry on top of Mid-America Truck Show. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Hope, um, by the way, um, we met you the first time you actually began this adventure, I remember correctly, right? Five I mean, years ago. Five mm -hmm. years ago, we went to the Middle American Truck Show, and uh, Dave actually made a mention to me in passing. He said, have you seen this mother? And I went, yeah. We both had noticed it. And uh, we, we need to get her on. Well, we're going to get her on. We've already kind of arranged to get her on. And we had both reached out to get you on the show, and you're like, wait, am I on two shows or one <laughs> and all this kind of stuff? It Can you, I really want let our listeners know, because I, I haven't heard in a while all the great segments you do. Can you talk about your own personal journey? A lot of people know that. But talk about your journey in this, where you've gone from being like a person who saw a niche to the moment now where you have a lot of platforms and a lot of presence and are making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Well, five years ago, when I stepped into trucking, I, well, I should say, before I found trucking, I was looking for something more. I felt like what I was doing, I was in the health and wellness space. I had a yoga studio. I was doing all the fitness stuff, helping people in pain. And I was good at it, but I felt like that wasn't where I was supposed to be. My dad was a sewer pipe layer. He broke his body trying to do something that nobody ever noticed. He was the guy 80, 80 feet down in the hole uh, doing things that no one would want to do. And that really resonated with me as a kid that it was just like, if I, I want to help people like him. I want the underdog. I love the blue collar workers. But I was kind of like, where do I find that? And then trucking just kind of fell in my lap. And I just kind of looked at the industry. I was like, I can help these people. Like, I can do this. Because what I saw out there was people in front of a truck doing a workout. I'm sorry. Like, when is the last time you went to a truck stop and saw someone working out outside their truck? Other than working on their truck, like, that's just not practical. And what I was doing already in, in the health and wellness space was breaking down fitness and health and making it adaptable for the everyday person. And so when I stepped into trucking five years ago, we actually debuted here at Mid-America Truck Show, um, I saw the gap. I saw the gap that there is fitness and health for everyone else, but what about truck drivers? And what was out there, nobody was biting on, no one was doing. And I could fix that, and I'm just so happy to be here now five years later. Yeah, and it's, it's, the other thing is, too, is the fact that it actually you're uniquely positioned because of what your dad did to actually be able to reach people not on your level. Everybody's always demanding people come to them. I got this great service for you. Now come meet me. <laughs> and it's like, no, 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 no. You actually have, I have something really kind of wonderful to share here. I'm going to come to where you are, and we're going to figure out a way to make it work within the confines of that cab, within the confines of that diner, the confines of that rest area. You, you really, a lot of what you do in your book um, actually is the acknowledgement of space and time. Uh, people forget that, that so much of the way we organize our life is space and time. It's the only way we can do it. But you actually, uh, can you talk about that, the idea of uh, addressing a trucker's space and making it a place where they can actually enact healthy motion and movement. Yeah, well, I, I think for me personally, I, I'm in recovery. I struggled with an eating disorder and drugs and alcohol for many years. And for me, I recognize that everyone is always trying to talk to people at the finish line, like, because they've already crossed the finish line. They've already figured it all out. 
but the people you're trying to help are back at the starting line and you got to bridge that gap and so for me the the idea of helping a driver and going into their space it's what do they have to work with what is it that they're doing how what is it that they're seeing and breaking it down in a usable digestible way that i don't care if you're a truck driver a school teacher or a plumber if you've never exercised or never really done anything to promote your health why are we trying to make them go all keto exercise five days a week make sure that you drink you know 100 and 20 ounces of water. I don't know about all of you, but like nobody starts that way. But we can all start with one bottle of well, water. Well, and that's exactly it. That makes me absolutely crazy. I was talking to a good friend of mine uh, just earlier today, and he was talking about elliptical or um, um, or treadmill. And and given where he's at, uh, I just said, dude, just get moving. You know what I'm saying? The elliptical is the better way. Just, you know, I mean, just, you know, I'm at the um, stationary bike. I, and I tell people, Remember the old Richard Simmons thing? I, yes. I, no, but he was great about that. That that sense of like, I don't need you to look like look thin and gorgeous. I need you to be able to pick up your grandkids. Yeah. I need you to be able to actually hug people and bend down and give them a hug. You know, to be able to coach little league again. Yeah. I need you to do this stuff. And that's the thing. You really want people just to get. Let's get moving. Yeah. My goal for drivers is not to be the fittest, healthiest truck driver out on the road. My goal for you is not to run a marathon, is not to go lift weights, bench press 200 pounds. Like, that's not my goal. That's never been my goal for anybody. My goal for the drivers that I get an opportunity to work with is for you to be able to age healthy. You to be able to get in and out of your truck without pain. You be able to put your pants on, put your shoes on. You be able to play with your kids, your grandkids. You be able to look at retirement and be like, well, as long as my body's not trash, because I think about my dad, and it's like, his body is trash. He's happy if he can get out of bed and get down the stairs and get in and out of his car and, and not feel like, you know. We want to be like this guy. Yeah, uh, we want to be like, like Dave this guy, Nemo. Like Dave Nemo. I'm not kidding about this guy. We want to be more like Dave. Dave. I'm going to break this down to a bumper sticker here, and then I want you to take it apart. <laughs> Hope Zavara from Mother Trucker Yoga is with us here this morning at the Mid-America Trucking Show. Um, a little goes a long way. And what I mean by that is it's consistency. Yes. If you're just doing a little bit, but if you do it consistently, you're going to get a cumulative effect out of that. But the, the beauty of it is once you start doing a little bit consistently, you're going to want to do more. 100%. And there is how you start with the weightlifting and the five days a week and the Absolutely. Like this guy, like Dave Nemo. <laughs> I'm not kidding, man. But I'm you, not kidding. You, you will want to do yes. it as opposed to being, oh, I got to do it. No, I want to do it. Yes. But you can't, you, you, you peg that beautiful. You can't start off at the finish line. Well, and I have a 1% rule. What if you just do one thing every single day for 365 days? That's 365% better than you were when you started. So what if you just drink one bottle of water every day? If you're not drinking any, that's 100% improvement, by the way. <laughs> like, let's just put that out there. If you're not exercising, how about you just every single morning during your pre-trip check, you walk three laps extra around your truck. That's 300% improvement than what you were doing before. We have to stop looking at health and fitness like it's this big elite box that only the people on covers of magazines and on YouTube channels and Dave can Nemo. achieve. And Dave, Nemo. and Dave Nemo. Like, what is it that you want to be healthy as a truck driver? I believe you can be healthy and you can be a truck driver. It's not an either or. But we have to stop looking at health and fitness like it's this big, complicated box. And it becomes a shared vocabulary, too. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not picking on Dave. I'm being deadly serious guys the, when we first started that remember Claire and I joined the gym mm -hmm. and then you started going to the gym on a regular basis you start talking about it like you know I need, I need to add some I need to add some of this you know once you get that five minutes in it's like it's getting hooked I mean it's like the best it is the best addiction of all time well you want to know why it's so great is because it's boosting serotonin dopamine oxytocin neurotransmitters like movement literally is a drug. I don't believe we have a mental health issue in America. We do have it to some extent. I believe we have a movement epidemic. epidemic. Sitting is the new smoke. It is. Days love saying that. Because when you start moving more, your cortisol levels drop, your blood pressure, your blood sugar, those of you with diabetes, get out and move. That is the best drug you can use for Lindsay's to Lindsay's moving right diabetes. now. Look at Lindsay she moving is. right now. Look at that. She's doing a little dance on the side. But, but right. depression, anxiety, uh, stress, sleep issues, you're just not moving enough. 
And that's 100% fixable. And that's not exercise. That's you moving in the truck, rolling your shoulders. That's reaching up and stretching. That's twisting. That's lifting one leg up and down while you're driving until your quad feels like it's going to fall off. It's everybody like, do that. that. All everybody lift their leg once. <laughs> I'm serious. Everybody lift their leg once. Everybody just you're using leg. muscles. Like, this is how your body is designed. 100 years ago, there was no such thing as exercise. Why? Because we all moved. We I'm didn't have right exercise. So for those of you listening, what if you just make it a point today, we're all walking like a million miles, but what if you just make it a point today to drink one bottle of water? What if you just make it a point today to bend down, I don't care if you can't touch your toes, but just stretch your back, reach up overhead, twist in your seat, those all count. They don't cancel out magically any other way, but if you keep doing that every day, it is an addiction. This is why yoga and fitness saved my life. I'm so passionate about it because everyone thought that I was just, like, going to whittle away to nothing. By the way, speaking of addiction, I want to tell you guys something. I am 28 years sober today. Woo! Today. Whoa! Today. That's what I'm talking about. Today. And I will tell you this, too. It's like I, was, I actually took a walk this morning in Louisville, and there was this beautiful moon breaking through the trees, and I was taking my walk. And, and it wasn't a workout walk. It was a get the blood flowing yeah. to kind of get the day kind of Mental health, going. everything. A mental health walk. And that's the thing, too. So much of what we're talking we got like a minute here. So much we're talking about is about mental health. I mean, that's really the breakthrough, the idea that if you, if you can stay ahead of the black cloud, the best way to do it is often by moving away yes. from it, right? Absolutely. So I guess I'll leave you all with this your health is in your hands you get to be in the driver's seat of your life nobody else is in charge of you but you what is the one thing that you're going to do today to start taking back your health start taking back your life and start taking back your happiness that option really is available to you today just yeah and just moving your wrist i know it yep. sounds crazy just doing that by the way just uh, stretching your neck oh. little things little uh, things micro specialist macro joy uh, <laughs> hopes of our uh, it's always it's always good to see you like that micro that's better than my bumper sticker i, I like, like it micro like specialist it. macro joy please give her a big round of applause guys thank you guys we Come always love out. having her and we're going to keep on heading down the road with you as well by the way sirius xm 146 road dog trucking what's your booth number uh, we are in the West Wing, 69097, the main drag. Come say hi to us. Uh, come say hi to our girls and check out what we got for you. We'll be back on the other side of this with more of Dave Nemo Weekend. Da -da -da -da. I'm moving. <laughs>